Hi guys. How are you? So I'll wait for some of you to pop on. Um, if you are new, welcome. My name is Rita. I'm design director for Impress Art, and today I'm coming to you from Impress Art. Um, you guys have been joining me at my home studio, and you know I've been going back now that we're opening, going back and forth. But today we are at Impress Art in my little corner. Hi, Christine. So. We started with SIY projects on Tuesday. So today I'm gonna to walk you through another two, and we'll do that again next week to wrap up all eight of them. Hi, Karen. Hi, Ginny. Hope everyone's doing well, and everyone has their power back. We had 24 hours with no power. And I could tell you, like my husband says, it is no fair with no air. When you're used to a certain, you know, your air conditioning units or central air, it gets a little hard to adapt <laughs> to being in a home and sleeping in heat. So, and that's it. So yes, so there is Jen right there. Give Jen some thumbs up and some love. I tried to drag people and say, let's see if I have any any uh, special guests. So back to the SIY. So the SIY is a program, it's Stamp It Yourself. Um, they're basically stamp and go projects. And let me grab one that we're doing today. So this right here, if you guys could see that, is the phone accessory. All right. Now these are fantastic. And I'm now gonna call out Francesca is going to lend me her phone so we could, I could show you guys how you're going to embellish the pop sockets or the phone, oops, phone accessories that you guys have on your phones already. All right, so I'm waiting for Francesca to come in. Jen, if you wanna give her a little nudge um, and give her phone to me so we can walk through this project. Um, we're also going to do our pick cases. So these are like the last ones. We had golf markers. Um, this year we went with guitar picks. Oh, there's Francesca. I won't, you want to come on and say hi, Francesca? No. Francesca says no. But so you're going to see on Francesca's phone, there's this really great phone accessory on there. And we are going to embellish one and we're gonna pop it on. I'm gonna do one with a celestial motif on it. Hi Maureen, hi Ruth, hi Angie, hi Terry. So also tonight, um, for those of you who didn't get a chance to sign up for the last class, we have a Michaels class this evening um, at four o'clock for the national online class. It's personalized hand stamped family necklace. It's called a jumble necklace. The reason why I chose this necklace is it has a lot of different um, blanks. Sometimes when we're looking at our blanks, we kind of want to stick to just the one shape because um, we feel that that's what goes. I like to mix metals. I like to mix shapes. Um, so I am going to teach that class tonight and we are going to work with an array of different shapes to uh, achieve one family necklace. So, let's see. Are you gonna meet Jen? I don't know, Jen, Jen is actually answering the questions today for you guys because Allie is out, but I promise you the next time um, I'm in the office, you could definitely see Jen. And also, if you want to see later on this evening, if you want to um, sign up for that Michaels class, that link is in the comments. Um, Jen is on there with me also. She helps me out answering questions. She'll get to see Jen. Welcome, Sherry. Hi, Lena. Rosalinda. Hi, Lisa. You want to see me? Tw oh, well, you know what? I wish my husband said he'd like to see me twice today. <laughs> so thank you very much, Lynn. 
So we're gonna get started. Um, but before we start stamping, I wanna walk you through a couple of the projects that I kind of put a spin on. Um, you'll see it's very simple in the packaging. Even on the listing image, um, if you go to impressart.com, you'll pull it up and they're very simple. Um, we do that just for, you know, for beginners, people who are just getting into the craft, um, just getting to learning, not to make it so complex. So I actually took them and made a little spin on them. So I'll share that with you today. All right, and then we will start on the, hi Mary Joyce, the guitar pick and the pop socket. So I'm gonna take you guys, oh, hi Janet. Hello, Mr. Panula. I see that you're there. I was just talking about you. So I will swing you guys around and show you some finished samples that I have made because like you guys said the last time I was in the office, it's nice to see finished samples. Um, sometimes when we see it on, on a computer screen um, for a print, for an ad, it's a little different than actually me holding it up close um, to my phone. All right. Oh, you're very welcome, Taz. I know, I no craftcation this year because of everything that's happening, but I'm hoping to be back for the next one, definitely. All right, so I'm gonna turn you guys around. Just give me a few seconds. Hi, Hillary. Turn that. All right. Here we go. So today what we're going to do is, let me take that flash off there. Perfect. So I can walk you through this. So the first one we have is the pick. Now you can see on the packaging, super simple. Um, what I did here was I used the four miller, four millimeter sailor. And on the bottom, I used Heartbreaker, upper and lower. So you can see how pretty that looks. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Olympia. And what I did here is what I'm gonna show you guys um, just to embellish a button. So this button obviously doesn't come stamped like this. Let me see if I could, actually can't do it with one hand, so I'll wait until I'm in the tripod again. But I used a half inch round aluminum tag okay just a circle not even a tag circle i ball peened my edges i put down i put two initials on there so that's for brian and Kristen, and their children are josie and julia all right um and then i dapped it and when i dapped it guys i used my gs hypo and i just glued it right to that button right to that button and this is really nice. I mean, you could either choose to actually play with these, um, or it's really nice for a dad or a husband or an uncle to walk around with these on their key fobs. All right. Or they could even hang it off their guitar cases. So that's a really, really great item. It makes a great gift. And again, in my style I matted it <laughs> so all right so we're gonna put that to the side and then what else we're gonna do is that phone accessory like I was saying before I'll hold that up close um, they're really simple on the packaging all right here are your blanks they come with three phone accessories and the adhesive strips in there Okay, now guys, if you don't wanna use your adhesive, ad, adhesive strips, you could definitely use your GS Hypo. Um, yeah, Melissa, I will show how to texture the edges again. All right, so this was obviously the one on the packaging. All right, it got kind of beat up. All I would do is take my buffing block to that. So this is how it comes, guys. It comes three of these, and they fit right over your existing accessory okay and it comes um gs hypo is a metal glue that you could use um sharon it's a half inch okay so what i did here is what i'll do today 
I'll use a constellation on the guitar pick. Yes, it's a half inch. That's a half inch. All right, so this blank will cover your phone accessory. I can't say that word, Carly. <laughs> but these two are a cool gift, guys. They come with adhesive that goes right on top of your existing phone accessory. Um, no, Melissa, the GS Hypo does not smell strong. All right. Simple as that. And it has really simple instructions on the back. All right. So you definitely want to stamp something personal, put it on a phone grip. All right. So we'll make one of these today. And then I'm just gonna walk you through. I know on Tuesday, I showed you guys how to stamp the washer bracelets. Okay. And these already come put together. which is fantastic. Like I said, stamp and go, really simple. Great for the holidays. Great if you're doing a craft fair. And then we have, I know on Tuesday, I showed you the charm bracelet. All right. How is that used for your phone? So I will show you really quick. So this is a phone accessory that comes right out of your case and it's made for a stand or if you're gonna take a selfie, which we all love selfies, you kind of put your fingers like that and then press your, oh, she's got a lemon. Look how cute that is, adorable. Um, but you definitely put your hand just like that. So it works as a stand Hello, Brenda. So um, we did this on Tuesday. Melissa, if you have any other questions about the glue, we would love to go into it more with you. Um, you could call customer service um, and you know, Jen and I or um, any of the girls in customer service would be more than happy to go through it with you. I really, I don't have packaging to, to read it off to you right now, but I definitely want to answer your question. All right. So if you want a private message or give customer service a call, we could walk you through that. So this is another one. So what I did here, I know on Tuesday, um, we stamped and we dapped. We actually did some texture around the edges, but for this sample, I sunk two crystals in it as birthstones. So it's really telling a story of your family. So obviously this is my sister and my brother-in-law, their wedding date and the baby's names. All right. So that's great to um, make any kind of, if it's a birthday gift or Christmas gift, or even if you're doing, like I said, outside, outside markets. All right. So that's one. Now, um, all of these items that I'm showing you, they come in the kit. And then we have, and you know, we always leave out, we always think we leave out the guys, right? We're not leaving out the guys. So right here are cufflinks. All right. Harper and Skylar, A and D, that's Alicia and Dave, and they're little babies other names from the people that I work with at Impress Art. So um, these are great cufflinks. These are great if you have a wedding party and you're doing um, groomsmen's gifts. This is good for the father of the bride, the father of the groom. So these are really nice. And that's done with the two millimeter stargazer. All right. And those centers, they come, they come out and you're going to stamp, you stamp them. Every, all these pieces come in the kit. You're gonna stamp your circles and you're going to put an adhesive glue. It's a, an adhesive sticker glue that's in the kit on when you're finished stamping and you're just gonna pop those right in your bezels. 
The size of the fonts on this is a two millimeter. Shelby. All right. Put those aside. Then we'll come in. This happens to be one of my favorites. This is a washer necklace. All right, and that's a typewriter font. And that is three millimeter. And basically what I did was I just put the birthstones at the end and the beginning. So they kind of alternate. But this kind of project is great for that grandmother that has like a lot of grandchildren. You could fit a lot of names on this. And what's nice about this is there is no jump ring. So they swing back and forth and they just look beautiful around your neck. All right, so that is the washer. Then we have the dog tag and the heart. This is like a me and my necklace. Um, this right here, this dog says, tag says, there is a girl who stole my heart. She calls me daddy. And that is Chloe. So it comes with two necklaces, two split rings, and your blanks. All right, I jazz this one up by using the crystal setter and sinking a stone into Chloe's heart there. All right. And then we have our bezel. This is a favorite of mine too. Around is the 1.5 sans serif uppercase. In the center is the three millimeter uppercase sans serif. And again, you'll receive the bezel, the chain, and the center blank, and an adhesive sticker pad, okay? So basically you'll stamp your center, you'll peel that adhesive, you'll put that on the back of your blank, and then you'll pop that right into your bezel. Look how nice that looks, guys. And like I said, if you're not happy with the um, with the sticker, you could definitely use your GS Hypo. All right. And then last but not least, and I'm going to try to do this with one hand, Let's see if I can pull these out. Okay, I did it. We have, just put you guys down for a quick second. Let's see if I could do this. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. So it comes with a pouch. Again, this is great. It's a great gift for Christmas for dads and granddads. All right, and, um, uncles. These are two pairs of collar stays, all right? The smaller pair usually goes in tuxedo or a dress shirt. And the larger ones go in a button down dress shirt. All right. And these are great because you could stamp on both sides. And guys, all of these projects tell a story. So if you're looking to be the greatest gift giver this Christmas season, this is where you're going to want to turn. All right. This is this font right here is typewriter. All right. So I'm going to turn you lovely creatives around to bring you to my block. All right. Oh. Hello, Caroline, sweet Caroline. And I'm gonna put you right in there. So we're gonna start with Sailor today. And I know the setup's a little different from what we're used to at home, but we will that's a three millimeter font. We will make do. And I think I might even change up my block on you guys so there's not much glare. 
So Julie, definitely 14 grandchildren. I would definitely, um, definitely use that washer necklace. No, I'm serious, because I always get those customers who are like, oh, I have, you know, my mother-in-law has, you know, so many kids in the family, but definitely, could definitely get 14 names on here. Definitely get 14 names on this one. All right. So we are going to start. So now, like I was saying, we're going to start with the guitar pick. So the guitar pick comes with, obviously, the picks. It comes with the key fob, okay? That's all this kit comes with. What I'm gonna show you today also is how you could just add a little bit of an embellishment. No, Julie, because you can fit, you can fit 14 names on these three. You could definitely fit 14 names on these three washers, okay? All right, so we're gonna start by pulling that plastic off. I'm just gonna start at the corner, pull it down, okay? Put it right on your block. And I'm gonna come in with my sticker guide. open up my sailor so sailor is a um four millimeter unicase font meaning it you know doesn't have a lowercase it's all uppercase all right so let's see here's my hammer hi chris hi chris so i'm going to start with my eye And when you're stamping with our product, um, so the picks and the phone accessories will not be available right now at Michael's. You can get them at impressart.com. So I'm gonna start with my center because I wanna do I pick you. So I'm gonna start with my eye. I'm always gonna make sure that my impress art is facing me. That's how we know I'm stamping in the right direction. I'm gonna bring this down, give it one tap. And what I like to do is I just like to do a tilt and tap with my bigger fonts, especially if they have detail. Um, my eye has a little line, like a uh, serif in the center. So I just wanna make sure that I get all of that into my metal. And you can see that I'm not over stamping. I'm hitting it very lightly. And then I'm going to Use my P and I'm going to utilize the black hash marks. On it. On my sticker guide. Bring that down. off and then I'm gonna follow so I know that my orange line is my center and I'm gonna bring that down okay and I'm gonna line make sure that that's lined up with my eye I'm gonna go a little closer together with my U I like to play with my spacing what I just stamped 
And then I'm gonna come in with my enamel marker. And I'm just gonna color that in, fill in my impressions. Hi, Gina. And I'm gonna come in with my household paper towel, okay? It's dry, nothing's on it, it's not wet. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna lightly dab it, and then lightly wipe. And there we go, I pick you. And guys, you can stamp on the back of these, all right? If you're not using your scratch protector sheets, it's best that you leave your, your sticker on the back to reduce your marring, okay? But you could definitely stamp on the back of these as well. So you're gonna put that right inside that. How in there, how great is that? So now, with the added piece for the button. Now remember guys, this tw this half inch blank does not come in the kit, okay? This is just something that I embellished, but I'll show you guys how you could do that. So I'm gonna take my half inch and I'm going to put the person that this is being gifted to, their first initial in the center. put my A and then I'm going to come in when we talked about um, texturing the edges we're using our multifunction hammer with our ball peen head okay you're just going to place your finger on your blank and texture the outskirts of your your disc okay for those who missed it on Tuesday all right then you're gonna take your enamel that in take your paper towel and we're gonna blot it so Melissa this is a ball peen head Okay, it comes in your multifunction texture uh, hammer kit. It is, Julie. It is a sticker that goes on your block and it reduces the marring on the back of your disc. So obviously this is flat. So our next step is to come in with our dapping block, okay? I'm going to place that with my impression face down, take my center punch, put it right in the center, take my hammer and give it a couple of nice hits. And what that does, it, it gives it a nice Dapped shape. Do you see that? So what that does is create a button cover. 
So you're going to take your GS Hypo. Let me open my GS Hypo. All right. Now with your GS Hypo, guys, I know you've heard me say this before. There's no need to squeeze because it always comes out. It's like a volcano. So you definitely don't want to squeeze your GS Hypo. You just want the ball to form. Okay, you don't want to overdo it with your glue. And you definitely want to clean off your tip when you're putting it back in. All right? Aluminum. Ruth, aluminum. And then I'm just putting it right on there. And I'm going to let it sit and let it dry. Okay? And that's how you could just embellish a button, guys. You can embellish buttons on anything. All of my denim jackets don't have the original. They have the original buttons, but underneath, on top, are different things that I've stamped, words, um, patterns. All right. Now, the SIY kits, guys, all come, they're all aluminum, no alchemy. All right. Now we're going to do our phone embellishment. So now guys, you could do the names if you'd like. Today we're going to do um, Julie, you could get the glue in local craft stores. Um, Shelby wants to know how she cleans. I usually take vinegar and water or Windex to clean my block. Remember guys, it's metal. So if you're gonna put any kind of cleaning, um, any kind of like uh, Clorox wipe, it's going to rust, guys. You're gonna get rust marks. So definitely make sure that when you're cleaning your block, you are drying it and you're not putting any harsh chemicals on it. All right, you're welcome. So we are going to do a constellation on this one. So I'm going to open up my kit. Brand new one. And I'll show you the adhesives. All right. You could also buy it um, on our website, the glue. So it comes with three discs, okay, and the stickers. So you're going to peel off your coating. All right, there we have it. Okay, and I am going to, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna do cancer. Now guys, these would look really pretty with mandalas on them. Um, patterns, words, quotes. So this is a sticker from our constellation guidebook, okay? So basically, um, this kit comes with four design stamps. Today, I'm gonna utilize just my dot stamp, and I'm gonna sink some crystals in to show you guys how you could do that. All right, so I have my sticker on there, and I'm just gonna follow the dots on the sticker. Then I'm gonna come in with my 1.8 crystal setter. Okay. And you notice that when I do my crystal setter, I like to rotate my setter. I like to hit it 
and rotate it. And the reason why I do that is because I it leaves a really nice flat divot. So your crystal sits flush. It sits right up against and inside the, the cavity of that divot that you created. Okay, it's really important that it's flat also and even because you don't want half of your crystal sticking out of your impression. So I'm gonna peel that away, okay? And now you could use a sharp object to get that sticker out of that hole. I suggest you do do that. Um, you can use an awl, a bead awl. You can use a toothpick. I like tweezers or a head pin. So I'm gonna use my head pin now and I'm just going to fish that out. And there we go. There she goes. See how she's coming out? And then I'm just gonna get it with my finger. All right. There we go. And get that glue off. All right. So then I'm gonna come back in. Let's see what fonts I have. Let's see, let's see, let's see. my uppercase juniper okay so my uppercase juniper right here is a three millimeter font it's a nice wide font it's a little whimsical okay it's wide it's a wider font and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around you're very welcome Linda you're gonna, I'm gonna go around the outskirts of my disc. So how I'm gonna do that, guys, is I'm gonna make sure that the bottom curvature of my stamp is meeting the edge of my metal disc. And I'm just gonna follow that. So there's my S. Bring it down. Hi, Mary. Now guys, remember, you're bringing the bottom half, that round curvature of your stamp, you're gonna have that meet up with the edge of your metal. So there is my constellation. There is the name. Now you could do um, a quote around here. You could do multiple names. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna fill in my impressions. With my black enamel marker. Same goes with my constellation. All right. Then I'm going to take my paper towel and I like to say make it messy before I make it pretty, right? So I'm gonna dab it just like that. All right. Pushing that ink into my impressions and then I'm gonna take it and lightly wipe.
Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna come in with my GS Hypo, but before I do that, I'm gonna pull out a crystal that I want to sit in that divot. Okay, again, I'm gonna pull my applicator. I'm not gonna squeeze it. See how it forms that ball? I'm just gonna take it, drop a bead of glue in there, clean off my tip, put it right back in. Then I'm going to take my crystal, okay? And I'm gonna place it right inside of my divot. Okay, do we see how pretty that is? Now guys, we could texture the edges and we could still do that. Gives it a really nice diamond cut look on the outskirts of it. We all know if you've been watching, I love the ball peen texture. Guys, you guys are very quiet today. <laughs> Jen, I think they're giving you a break since it's only you and not you and Allie. Any questions, guys, about these bone accessories? So look how pretty that just adds that extra, adding that extra texture just really um, brings it to a whole new level. These are 1.8 crystals. Watching intently. Okay, Shelly. <laughs> so guys, if you have a little bit of extra glue on your desk, you can definitely take that off with a Q-tip um, with some enamel, okay? Um, with some alcohol or antibacterial and take the remainder of the glue that you have on there off. Um, no, no, Sharon, you kind of really just have to be really precise with your edges. We are working on it, Angie. We are definitely working on it. Yes, the Constellations, Julie, they have their own book. Their own book, all right? And they come with stamps. So with the Constellation book, it comes with a small dot stamp, a medium dot stamp, a star, a glimmer, and a crown, okay? Today, I'm just showing you guys how you could use your period stamp. And you know what? The kit comes with, if you buy the kit, the kit comes with the stamps. If you're buying just the book, it's just the book. All right. So the Constellation sticker book kit comes with the stamps. Okay. Just the sticker book itself just comes with the stickers, doesn't come with the stamps. All right, so now I am going to show you how you could attach your, your blank. Let me grab, I don't want to ruin Francesca's pop socket, so let's see what I could grab. All right. So this is one that I had on my phone case. All right, so this is my phone grip. All right, and that's remnants from my, my sticker. All right, so what you're gonna do is if you have one on your case, all right, and they come with designs on them and you wanna cover that up or you wanna make something for someone um, to let them know how much you care about them. Something that they're always looking at because you know, don't we always reach for our phones 
a lot, right? Right? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your 3M sticker and you're going to peel that. Okay? You're going to put it on the back and really rub that on so it stays nice and strong. Okay? Then you're going to peel the other side, okay? Leaving that 3M sticker double-sided, all right? Then you're going to take put that on and just really press down on your phone grip. And there you go. There is your phone accessory. So Tina, we um, this is part of the new SIY program. Um, it's a kit, it comes with the three discs and the stickers, okay? And I ripped it open, let's see if I have the packaging. Do I have the packaging? So this is part of the packaging. <laughs> So these are foam grip embellishments, all right? And the adhesive sticker comes in the project kit. How great is that, right, Tina? This is a great gift. I love this. This is a whole great stuff for Christmas, guys. Christmas, um, Hanukkah, any kind of holiday that's coming up, birthdays, anniversaries, just to say I love you, you know, these are great. Even with kids going away to school, I actually just got an order for a phone grip um, from a local mom in my area, and um, she made me write, make good choices, love mom. <laughs> you know, because she knows that, you know, her daughter's going to grab that phone because I know mine's 11 and the phone doesn't leave her hand. So just a daily reminder to make good choices. It does not come with the grip, Maureen. It does not come with the grip. Okay, it comes with your sticker and it comes with your three discs. Now, um, I know we just had that question. Can you order just the discs? Um, our discs that we have at Impress Art are not the same size. They are way bigger or way smaller than the size of the phone grip. So you definitely um, would have to order the kit. No, Teresa, it doesn't come with the, the plastic pop-up part. It's just a phone embellishment kit. It's a phone grip kit. All right, so it comes with your blanks. Comes with your sticker. You would have to buy your phone grip. Okay, just your metal and your sticker. Metal and your sticker. So these are great projects, guys. These are great for our uh, Christmas. These are great even, it, it is, Michelle, it is. It is a phone grip. <laughs> no, we don't sell the phone grips separately. These are just, we sell the embellishments for your phone grips. You guys could get those off of, I don't know if I'm, Amazon, definitely. Definitely look into Amazon for phone grips. All right, and there we go. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and we'll chat a little. So for those of you just joining us, I am back in the office today, um, but I'll be coming to you next Tuesday from my home again. So I'll be popping in and popping out. They do make Great stocking stuffers. Great stocking stuffers, grab bag gifts, guys. Why not stamp something for your Kris Kringle or anything that you're doing at work, holiday-wise? These are great, these are great projects. These are also great, guys, if you have that friend who's like, oh, I wanna learn how to stamp, and you, you, know, you don't want to buy 
a bunch of blanks that you don't know that that person's interested in buying a kit and a beginner set is that would make you the best gift giver definitely the best gift giver so remember that the month of august um the hours and the days are going to change a little bit that you're with us so we're going to be together on tuesdays and thursdays um no more wednesdays all right um and the time's going to be uh we're going to start at 12 30 not one o'clock from now on all right because that seems to be a better time for everyone because i know sometimes we get a little we get really into stamping here and we go we go over people's lunch breaks so 12 30 is when we're going to start um from now on for, for just for the month of august until you know we see what we're doing i still have a kiddo at home so hopefully school will start in september and things will go back to normal um but again thank you so much for joining us today guys if you did not sign up for the michaels class that is taking place um this evening this afternoon please do so um, Jen will post that link in the comments and you will be hanging out with Jen and I again um, today. Angie prefers Wednesday and Thursday. Sorry, Angie. You're very welcome, Kathy. Don't worry about it. So guys, if you well, I'm glad that you're learning a lot, Shelby. So definitely sign up, guys, for that Michaels class. Um, I know last time we had a little bit of an issue um, getting signed up at the last minute, but I'm sure it will be fine today. All right. Well, you could watch us on replay on Tuesday, Angie. You could definitely watch us on replay. Um, but again, the class today is at 3 Eastern Standard Time, 4 Central Standard Time. And we are doing a jumble necklace. We are doing it on brass with the Austin font, which is an exclusive font um, from Impress Art for Michaels only. So I'll walk you through that. And if you were a beginner, guys, even if you don't have the tools and supplies that we're working with today, it's a great way to learn how to space out your letters, line them up, properly hold your stamp. So it's really a beginner class but I didn't, you know, I throw a couple of things in there. So. I know, Angie. Well, it's only for the month of August. Let's see what happens in September. So, all right. So how do you sign up? You're gonna go in the comments. Jen posted a link for the class through Michaels, but you could also go to michaels.com and sign up for it today, all right? So you'll be registered by the time the class comes. Guys, if you are new and this is, you know, your first time stumbling upon us, welcome. Um, definitely go to impressart.com and fill out for the newsletter. It's important because you'll get alerts when we are, on, we are live or if we are doing a special class or maybe if you're lucky, if we're in your area teaching a class. So definitely you want to go to impressart.com and sign up for a newsletter. I am going to do more Mandala Lives, I promise. Promise, promise. All right. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you next Tuesday at 1230 if I am not going to see you this evening for the Michaels class. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you guys next week.